Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today we have a box and we have a little knife. Uh, so I'm going to do the unboxing of this package that I received. I received it um, from Germany, from a store which is called Most Wanted Pens. This was not uh, products from the store, this was an actual buy that uh, I made because I wanted a specific pen and they have a discount so I didn't even say that I was the Paul from ODE I just bought it and also something that uh, I have a pencil also that a friend asked me to, to to buy to use up the same postage cost so we have here my Victorinox Harvester no it's not the I, I don't remember the name of this one. I, I, I always forget the name, the, the pruner, that's it. It has a very nice knife to open boxes and so let's do it. So as I told you, I just wanted to have a pen. This is a pen model that I tried once. I saw it had the problem of drying inside the cap, but um, I think I really need the pen in my collection, this version, not the version I tried before. And so that's what I'm showing you. Okay, done, I think. So let's just see inside. I like this because the companies are now sending this kind of stuff, which I prefer than the plastic usual stuff. Here I have a paper that may have some personal information, so I will not show it to you directly. Okay, yes, this is the, the receipt and so on. And also a little uh, publicity from Most Wanted Pens with these nice um, notebooks they have, uh, journals from Zequenzi, which are quite good, and also the Caveco, new Caveco stuff, and here hmm, I always like to see this um, a new Caveco um, Sorry, I, I was a little distracted, a new Caveco catalog Sometimes this is fun because you can check I'm trying to see if this is from 2020, but I'm not sure. I don't think it is. I need to check, but mm, I don't know if I will be able to do it. It has no information about the date here. Yes, but I think it's 2020 because it has the frosted sport, but for not sure. Okay, doesn't matter. A nice uh, thing to have. So, this is my friend's uh, pencil. I'm not sure if I should open it. I will just show it to you if it is opened. I think it doesn't have any special box. Well, such a large sheet of paper to have a small thing. Yes, here it is. This is a Twisby. Pagoda 0.5 pencil, nice one, and I will wrap this again, because this is not for me, maybe I will ask him this pencil one day for making a video review, I, I, I guess that reviews about pencils are quite, uh, quite well performing, so in the channel, so it means people are really interested in seeing pencils in action. I also bought refills and these refills are for specific pen, uh, pencil, sorry, this is refills of 1.18 millimeters they come inside this glass vial with a cork stopper and these are useful 
for the vintage Caveco Sport pencils and let me just grab one and show it to you. Okay, now I have them here, so let me show them to you. They, these refills 1.18 are useful for these kind of older Caveco Sport pencils. This is the number 18. They are also useful for... I have this Caveco Special that is very very discolored, this hard rubber, and you can see it should be black and it's completely brown. Also for this other Caveco Special, which is so fun because it's so small, very interesting, and also for the Caveco Sport like this, and I think this is the number 17. This is a Caveco, and this says there Depro, which I never understood if it is the, the name of a brand or like a company that had this marked from themselves, or if it is a special run of Caveco pencils. And I have also these two that are branded Caveco Sport, as you may see, and they have the marking 18. So I don't think this one should be 18. But I guess it is. Mm. Strange. I need to check this information. So I really love these short Caveco Sport pencils that work by twisting here the end knob and the pencil lead advances and then you to retract you have to rotate it and push them back in and I really like it. They have this guilloche design. This one is not that visible but this one is... Okay, sorry, I was talking about the package and I'm showing pens but I guess I cannot resist it and look at this. This is the vintage Caveco pouch, very worn but beautiful. Okay, enough. Uh, so, we have the Twisby, the LEDs and finally, this was quite cheap because they had a very big promotion and I thought, a very big discount and I thought I should get it and I have these. Strangely, the box has the fingerprint and I'm not buying the pen that has the fingerprint. But yes, it is a Faber-Castell. I, I hope this is right. I'm buying another one. And... Hmm. This box will be quite hard to open. And this is the pen that I bought. And this is a Faber-Castell Neo Slim, which is a very slim pen. This one is made of steel. This is the matte steel version, which is slightly grey. And I think this is a, an interesting pen. It has this strange bent nib and it is a very small pen, but I'm really interested in uh, join in having this pen in my collection. Before I had this one, this is from another brand, but I don't think there is a problem. This is not kind of a, a video of things a brand sent to me. This is just uh, my purchase. This one was sent to me by Apubun and it is black with rose gold trim. I don't like it that much, but this one I, will, I want to have it in my collection. And I bought it because I think it will really join well with the pen that I bought this year, which is the Lamy CP1 in brushed steel, which is quite unusual, and I bought this new old stock. So this is a fine nib, this is a medium nib, but there was no choice for medium, for a fine nib in the Lamy, so I went for a fine nib at the, with the Faber-Castell, that's what I like, I like fine nibs. So I think I'll, I will need to start kind of a small uh, 
slim pen collection. I like big and girthy pens, but these ones are very good for for having a journal and to having them around to, to keep track of your notes. Maybe the next one I need to have is a Schiffer Targa uh, Slim, which is also a very thin pen like this one. The same kind of style with the click on place cap. So I think it will be interesting and because this was very inexpensive due to that uh, discount they had, I thought that I should have it for myself and also to make one day a comparison video between this pen and this one and I think that may be an interesting video for you to see, that kind of versus videos that I like to do. So this is all I had to show you. I hope you liked the video and I'll be back soon. Bye!